In this video, we're going to talk about content groups and how to make cohort-specific content. To begin, click on the Settings drop-down menu and select Group Configurations. From here, you're able to create content groups just by clicking Add and then typing the names of the content groups. Now one of the main uses of content groups is so that you can have content that only shows up to specific cohorts of students. So, in order to keep things straight, I'm going to just name my content groups after the cohorts that I've already set up. After we have our group set up, we're going to want to select content to assign to each group. Now this is done on the unit level. So start by navigating to a unit that you'd like to assign to a content group. I'm going to use some of these homework questions. So if we click on the unit, we're going to see this little eye symbol in the upper right hand corner. This allows us to control the visibility settings for the unit. So if we want to assign it to a specific content group, we're just going to click that radio button and then select the checkbox for the content group that we want to assign it to. For this particular unit, I'm going to choose Auto Cohort 1. So now I'm going to go ahead and do that really quickly here for our other two content groups. So there's Cohort 2. And there's Cohort 3. Now, don't forget to publish, otherwise your changes won't be live. So now, if we switch over to the LMS side, we have to assign these content groups to the cohorts. We haven't done that yet. So, click on the instructor dashboard, and navigate to the membership section. And if we scroll all the way to the bottom, we're going to see our cohort management section. So simply select a cohort, click on settings, and select a content group you'd like to assign that cohort to. This is where the naming comes in handy. Make sure you save. And you can do that for all your other cohorts. And that's all there is to it.